Maybe I blinked. But I don't think I remember seeing her from the plane. Say I was looking for an Ellis Island vibration when I entered this nation, but this place wasn't mine to have. One day I went looking for her. To get some liberty from her. I wondered if she'd have anything to say, but I think they closed her mouth the same day they closed Ellis Island. I walked inside her dress and looked up past her breast to see her crown here from the ground. The stairway to her brain moved slowly as a midday train, and as I climbed to the top, the stairs, they seemed much steeper. When I looked the way I came, the bottom seemed much deeper. The top was claustrophobic and made plenty people sick. The door to the heavens stretched arms off limits. No one could go there anymore since Ellis Island closed her doors, but I wanted to go up there and see what Carlucci and McGuinness and Goldstein and Smith see. My name is Mandingo and now today it's off limits to me. She represents America in more ways than they know. I climbed to her top to find doors where many entered before and now not anymore. I descended her stairwell of iron coal realizing Miss Liberty had lost her soul and all her liberty had been sold to those who could pay with their white skin. Mr. Ellis checked them in. European second home where the Indian and Buffalo used to roam and third world people get sent back home. By xenophobic offspring of European boat people who now write laws that would have sent their great grandparents back. Back to Ireland. Back to Italy. Back to Russia. Back to Eastern Europe. Back to Western Europe. Back to feeling black like third world people waiting for Mr. Ellis to write his sequel. From her beacon hand glows worldwide freedom. Cries she with silent lips. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. But for third world people, there doesn't seem to be a knob anymore. So maybe I blinked. <laughs>